Welcome to the Sun and Fun 2021 Quick Take Episodes. Here at Sun and Fun in Hangar D, I think we are at the Aero LEDs uh, booth. I want to stop by and kind of see what's new for Aero LEDs. So in introduce yourself and tell us <laughs> on this product today. All right, sounds good. My name is Ryan Edmark. I'm the uh, director of sales here at Aero LEDs, and uh, we are a premium uh, lighting solution for aircraft. We've been around since uh, 2005, founded by three pilots and we've always pushed uh, to make the highest performing light on the market. That's what we want to do. So we've stratified the market from experimental all the way up to certified uh, and military type aircraft. So and have, have you all sorry, have you all always been LED with LED technology? Yes we have. Uh, the owners of AeroLED, uh, the early on, uh, they saw a void of LED lighting for aircraft and they said, hey, we got a mechanical engineer, we got an electrical engineer, let's put that together and let's start coming out with lights, LED lights for these guys that they can start putting on their airplanes. Okay, so you, you guys are very early adopters for the LED tech and then applied to aviation. Yes, we are, yep. Awesome, so uh, I forget exactly when the craze came out of LEDs, but how long has, has uh, y'all been in business now? So since 2005, so we're going on uh, 15 plus years now. And is this for, because you know I represent experimental market, is this for only experimental or do you have certified uh, um, options as well? Yes, so uh, everything, pretty much everything we offer in the certified, we have an experimental version minus our, our PAR 3646 landing lights. Those are certified only, but many guys in the experimental realm put them on their aircraft. Now, this obviously isn't brand new tech, but for somebody who's just looking at this for the first time, what are the advantages of going from an incandescent hot bulb to an LED, which still gets warm, what's the difference? Right. Well, there's a couple of different things. You have light output and you have a lifespan. A typical 4509 bulb that's just about in every aircraft ever manufactured starting in the 50s, uh, you're going to get about 25 hours out of it. That's the that means 25 hours? 25 hours is the rating on those lights. Our lights have a rating of 30,000 plus hours. So you're going to get a full five year warranty with our, the purchase of our product and you're going to get the performance out of it. Uh, when we talk performance, it's a measurement between lumens per watt. So the power is directly proportionate to the light output. And when you're talking a halogen bulb, you, the best you can get is about 15 lumens per watt. Well, the LED technology is up there pushing close to 200 lumens per watt. You know, average is around 110 lumens per watt right now. So, and, and what is, I assume also from that, you're gonna have a different amp draw compared to the previous technology? Right, you're essentially able to more than double your performance uh, of light output when cutting your uh, current draw in half. So a 45 watt light will put out actually more light than a 100 watt incandescent. And how is, um, I guess, in the manufacturing process of this, um, I heard of like the older style of lights just because of the way they're made. It's very important where they're mounted on the aircraft because the vibration can shorten the lifespan of the light. Is that the same thing with this or any, any uh, electronic device, I guess? No, there's, I mean, these are surface mounted components on here. They're made to withstand uh, any type of vibration or shock that you make. All of our lights we design uh, in the certified realm, it's D0160 standard, and we're designed to exceed those standards, even in our experimental line. So these are designed for the most rigid, tough uh, environments out there. Awesome. Well, give us a, a quick tour of the different uh, product numbers or serial numbers that you have uh, through your, uh, your lineup here. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics, Airworks, AirTech Coatings. These sponsors make all of this original aviation content possible. So I invite you after this video to check out the links below and say hello to our sponsors. Tell them you found them here on the Experimental Aircraft Channel. All right, yeah, so give us a, a quick tour of the, the product lineup here. 
Okay. Well, by no means is this all of our product lineup. We couldn't okay. bring all of it, uh, but we brought our, our mainstays in the in the stable of AeroLeds line. Uh, this is our Sunspot uh, 36 4000 series panel here. Uh, we have a, a landing light and a taxi light. Uh, these are available in both 12 and 24 volt options, uh, and they are the highest performing PAR 36 LEDs on the market. Okay. We boast 11,000 lumens and 150,000 candela. They are FAA PMA certified, uh, or so you can put them on your certified aircraft, or in this event, this is an experimental channel, you can put them on anything you want, and you know you have the highest performing light that is manufactured right now. And if you could explain the difference between a landing light and um, what's the other one? Taxi light. Landing light, taxi light. Right, right. Um, it's it's the beam, right? The beam is different. Yeah. So a landing beam is uh, more of a cone shape, and our ours is a 20 by 20 cone, 20 vertical, 20 horizontal. A lot of the competition in incandescent bulbs are only 10 degree, and that's a full angle. So off center line, you get five degrees and five degrees. Well, ours is 20, so we like to double that beam spread. We know how important it is to a lot of these experimental pilots. Uh, they're flying around sometimes at night, and the back, you know, bush pilots, they're going in, stole competitions. They want to fly into these backcountry strips. They want as much light as they can. So these are the perfect option for those aircraft. Excellent. Is there a preferred, which beam is preferred for the taxi versus? At the taxi spread is a, it, it's a 20 by 40 beam spread. So it keeps the vertical, but it widens out horizontally. Well, when you do that, you cut down on your candela. So the candela pulls back, but you're still getting the same amount of light. You're just distributing it differently, and you're getting a wider view. Now, that's done with a Fresnel lens, typically. Well, we've now come out with the new Sunspot 36 Equinox series. This is a dual function landing and taxi light, the first of its kind on the market. This light has all the bells and whistles that you can think of. It has a landing and a taxi function that's all done by the flip of a switch. You flip it one direction, it's in landing, you reverse the polarity on the light, and it goes into taxi mode. It's, it's, it's just came out, this is in fact, this is the second light we've had. Is that, is that done through different positioned lights, or you turn off X and turn on Y type? Uh, well, we do it. I can't really talk specifics on that. that that's the secret sauce? Yeah, that's the secret sauce that we have. <laughs> uh, but uh, these will be available for sale. We're taking pre-orders right now. And, uh, you know, look for it to be fully ready to go at uh, EAA. Awesome, awesome. Well, well, thanks for taking a few minutes with us today at Sun and Fun 2021. we got great 85-degree weather, sunshine, and you guys got a great spot. There's a breeze coming through this door and natural light. So we got some good natural light here. Where can uh, somebody get in touch with you or read more about you online or call you direct and speak to you about this? Yep. So we just launched a brand new website on Saturday. You can visit us at www.aeroleds.com. That's L-E-D-S, plural, dot com. Uh, and you can find out more information there. Uh, or reach out to us on social media, and we'll be happy to answer any inquiries you have. Awesome. All right. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out our brand new website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.